Hey there! You may remember that a while ago, a very, very friendly viewer sent me this beautiful Mont Blanc 146 Solitaire. Lovely pen, and that I really love using. Um, and guess what? Yesterday, he sent me some more pens. And today we're going to have a look at one of them, and that is the Schneider Glam Eye. It's a funky pen, look at this, funky design. Um, and I think it has some interesting features. So I'm going to cover the parts of the pen, tell you what I like about it, what I don't like about it, and then do a writing sample. Let's start at the very top of the pen. Schneider has these nice broad clips. I like that. The cap is sort of slanted, and you get this big clip, uh, very broad. It's metal. It's very flexy. It'll definitely work. Uh, but it also feels like you will not just snap it off or bend it. A lot of decoration going on here. Um, look at that. It's it's pretty psychedelic, I would say. And then, of course, you have the eye. The pen is called the Glam Eye, after all. Um, Schneider, made in Germany, at the end, just a black cap, also at a slanted angle. Now, I like that. I think it's a, it's a pretty interesting design, interesting green. It's as I said, pretty psychedelic, but hey, it's got some cool things going for it. Posts nicely, and you get a really decently sized pen. You can also use it unposted, uh, lovely too. Grip section is a little bit Safari-esque, to the extent that it has these big facets cut out. But unlike with the Safari, it's not hard plastic, it's actually a type of rubberized material. Um, yeah, it's definitely rubberized. It, it, it's it's not hard plastic. Then you get a nib. The nib, as this uh, the gift giver uh, explained, is a bit Schaefer-like. I, I couldn't agree more. I think it definitely has a lot of, of Schaefer, uh, uh, the shape and, and also those, those markings. Um, that's kind of interesting. And the pen takes cartridges. Um, it's come, it comes with one of these things, so you can put an extra cartridge in the barrel. This is just a placeholder. And I'm pretty sure you can also fit in a converter of some kind because the barrel is definitely long enough. And in fact, holding this up to the light, I don't really see any seams, although there is something there. If you could turn this to an eyedropper, you get a lot of ink because it's a big barrel. Uh, so that could be interesting for those of you who like eyedroppers a lot. Okay, nib, I've used it. It's uh, it's for a pen in this price range, I think it's pretty good, actually. It's nice and smooth. It was my same experience with the Schneider Basic pen, that also had a very nice, smooth nib. Uh, Schneider, Schneider Base, that's what it's called, not Basic. Um, I like that. I like the fact that this eye, for example, really has some texture to it. That's, that's kind of a cool feature. You really feel this. Um, so, decent pen, writes well, nice size. What more could you wish for? Um, Things I like about it, things I don't like about it, it seems to write well. Cartridges, I'm sure you can fit in a converter of some kind. Uh, maybe even eyedropper it. Looks looks pretty cool to me. I, I kind of like that. Um, I think it's cool. Things I don't really like about it, well, it's it's very light. Although it's big, it's, it's pretty light. Some people like it. I personally prefer a heavier pen, so I will take that solitaire over this. Um, but, you know, for just quick notes, etc., this is very good. Um, I like that. I like. I, I'm not sure whether the psychedelic design is for everyone, but I, I don't mind it so much. One thing I will say about it is that um, I'm not sure how well you can see this, but if you put your nail to that, see you can actually get some of those black things. You can just scratch off the finish. Um, so that's a little cheap, right? Um, but hey, I'm pretty sure this was not a hugely expensive pen to start with. Decent writer, that's all I'm going to say. Let's take a couple of measurements. That's my, here we go. As I said, it's not small. Capped, I get 148 millimeters. That's really big. Uncapped, I get 131. 
section diameter is a little bit hard to measure because you got those grip facets, but at the narrowest point, I would say it's 11, and at the uh, uh, the, the widest point, it's eight. Oh, it's also eleven. There's not really a lot of tapering going on. Um, it's hard to measure between the two facets, but um, no, I think we just get to seven or something, seven millimeters. But it's hard to measure. As to weight, I'm assuming a light pen. Well, twenty grams. That's a bit heavier than I expected, actually. Not bad at all. Interesting pen. Dear person who sent me this. Thanks a lot. Uh, I hope this review was useful. I'm going to do a writing sample next, and that's all this too. I'll see you later. Bye bye. All right, all right, all right. Here we go with the Schneider. Glam I. The nib is not marked, but it seems to be fine or medium, something in between. Um, and the um, ink is just a Caveco green cartridge. All right. The quick brown fox. Jumped over the London Eye. Fox, London Eye, jump. Whee! You see? I'm a beautiful artist. Um, there we go. A bit of fast writing. Writing is smooth. I would say this nib is at least on par with, say, a Lamy Safari. Um, decent package, a nice, nice pen. Seems to write nice and smoothly. I, I like it. As to wetness, this is no pressure at all. And you see that the pen lays down a nice, even patch of ink that is really quite wet. So I, I really like that for, for a pen of this caliber. I mean, we're not talking about. The pen that's worth hundreds of dollars. Um, I think this is very good performance. As to line variation, as you can see, you can squeeze some out, not a whole lot, but you can squeeze a little bit of it out. Finally, reverse writing. I have to turn around where the, the clip was uh, digging into my hand. Yeah, so as you can see, the pen does not like reverse writing. No ink comes out, whereas it is primed. So, my dear, dear fan, viewer, thank you for sending me this pen. It's a lovely little pen. Um, has some interesting options. Um, I like it. So thanks for sending it to me. And uh, I hope this was useful. And I'll see you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>